Hey everyone. Okay, so we're still on chapter two, where we've landed on the beach, and we've met up with a few people, including the black cat and the squirrel riding a skeleton cat. Um, and we've gone into Fort Joy, and we're just starting to make our way around. So hopefully this loads up soon. And we can continue exploring. Hey. Oh yeah, so we talked to this guy who was like, oh, I have a proposition for you, but it needs to be only for you, which sounded to me like he was going to take me into a cave and murder me. So I was like, no. So we s told him to saw it off. We talked to this guy who I thought might be the dreamer that the, uh, the, what is his name? The Red Prince wanted to speak to, but doesn't seem like he is. So we're just going to keep exploring. Better even to puke yourself to death than get purged, don't you think? You should be happy for greed. What did you say? That's what happened, isn't it? Bleeding snake. Now, now, let's not get nasty. Please, excuse us. You're talking to me, not her, Sam. Oh, for the love of Lucian, Balladeer. You're acting like a madman. Say it again. What you said about my wife. Go on. Go on, Sam. Well, it's the truth, and you know it. She's better off. So what if it was messy? I'd rather puke myself to death a thousand times than let the Reds get to me. If she were my wife, I'd be happy for her. A flat smile twitches across Balladeer's lips. Probably not the best thing to say to someone whose wife just died. She never did like you. Yeah, I saw that coming. The man looks for a moment at the corpse at his feet, then turns back toward the nearly finished coffin, bloodied hammer in hand. Murder's a big word. And no. This here's a bed for someone a thousand times better than that snake. Rest of soul. The love of my life. Gret. She passed in the night. Something in the stomach. Doctor couldn't help her. He tenderly runs a hand along the coffin's side panel. If she were here, she'd tell me this plank is crooked. Chastise me for using warp wood on her final bed. Then she'd laugh and kiss me. Just here. The man holds a hand to his cheek for a moment. He turns from you, lines up another nail, and hammers it into the panel. I'll be with you soon, love. Come here. Come here. I found you, didn't I? What? Red, they said. Red then death. Them that pay the bills, of course. Come here. I'll be a rich man when you're six feet under. 
Time's up, Your Highness. Let's dance. <laughs> like how the cat and squirrel run away. Ouch. Really? Everything's blocked by his armor. Where did he go? Did he... Where did he go? Is he dead? Did he teleport? Where did he go? Where is he? I'll yield. Not there he is, jerk. Opportunist. It's resistant to water, fire, and poison. Well, that must be nice. These assassins are. <clears throat> it's their frightful manners I mind the most, really. Maybe you should walk in the water. There we go. That was rather fun, wasn't it? I do find it ever so invigorating to cut a cutthroat's throat. So, let's not succumb to melodrama, shall we? This kind of gutter vermin can hardly be said to be dangerous. Besides, one gets used to this kind of thing so quickly. This is hardly the first time someone's filled some poor fool's purse and bid him kill the prince. I'll tell you what, though. Whomever wants me out of the picture will have to do a lot better if they seek to get the better of me. All those bumblers they've sent so far mark a mere insult to my swordsmanship. Okay, let's go talk to this crab. Well, colored like a dog. A very pink, very long dog. I'd pity you, but Shaka the Ineffable has no patience for weakness. Laughing in the faces of my enemies, of course. Little do they know the most powerful sorcerer of the world has ever known scuttles on their very shores. But of course, they'll happily dump your maggot ridden corpse into the sea when they're through with you. <laughs> Sorcerers dance while magisters pull the strings. Fools all! Their tomfoolery won't save them from the destruction the void shall wreak upon them. This power is my birthright, same as yours, but one of us has grown to astounding heights and the other has sunk into depths too humiliating to describe. Pity. 
Ha! Of course, precious. But which is worse, the cure of a disease? See you later. <laughs> Combs it out all dilly eye. Come on, you stubborn hunk of garbage. The dwarf's fingers clamp around a splintered chunk of wood nailed to the skeleton of an old ship. His whole body strains with the effort of wrenching the plank free, to no avail. Ah. Eh? Oh, that. That uh, won't be my first or last roll on a lost boat. Reckon I might have had a harder time of it without your help, though. Bravery on the high seas is rewarded tenfold in the hall, you know. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got business to attend to. The dwarf spits into each of his calloused palms and rubs them together before placing them both back on the plank and pulling. Bleed uh, 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 nail must be uh, charmed or something. Uh, go on then, give it a go. You grab the plank and pull. The rusted nail pops loose. And the plank promptly crumbles to pieces in your hand. Probably not what he wanted. Oh, look at that. Nice of you to finish the job after I <laughs> uh, loosened her up. He winks and flips a gold coin toward you. It makes a long, high arc glinting in the sun and lands squarely in your hand. For your trouble. I suppose it were a fool's errand thinking I could make something out of this heap. I couldn't help myself from trying. He sucks a finger and holds it up to the wind, testing the breeze. Winds like these, she would have capsized before she reached the break. Well, on to plan B. <laughs> My cat is trying to bite at the cursor. He sees it moving and is, thinks it's like a bug or something. Stay down here. He gives you a wry look, as though deciding whether to trust you. I was planning to build me a raft and paddle off. I've got business north of here, in a town called Driftwood. Far be it from me to miss an appointment. Why don't we make a deal then? You help me get out of this place, and I'll do the same for you. Okay. That's the spirit. He lifts an invisible cap, and bows with the grace of a courtier. Ooh. Oh, sorry. It's Friday. Long wait. Just got back from seeing some friends for board games, which is not exactly like something super exhausting, but it's light. It's late. I'm tired. So excuse me if I yawn. Pleased to make your acquaintance. The name's... Well, the name's dead and buried. What matters is what they call me, Beast. May have been cast out, but you can bet your last heel of breed she wishes she hadn't of. I've taken my revenge a thousandfold on that tyrant's Whoa. fleet. I'll tell you when you're older. Hmm. Anyhow, we're a team now, so the me is not half as important as the us. Let's get down to brass tacks. Fighting, I mean. I've been up and down the realm so Stop. often that it'd make your cabbage spin, and I picked up a few tricks along the way. Truth be told, I've grown fond of crushing and casting. A battle mage, if you like. But there's not so important as team <laughs> dynamics. So what'll it be? Yeah. Battle mage is fine. Then it's settled. Capital. Well, that's that sorted. Onward then. I've got to get out of here. And soon. And I suppose you do too. <gasps> oh, sorry. Like I said, sleepy.
What did I just gain XP for? Oh, dang it. <sighs> so many battles. Oops. Oopsie, oopsie, oopsie. I don't have any kind of rain anything, do I? Why am I picking this up? Maybe it's part of a quest. Yuck. Oops. Teleporter spell. 
The vault ought to be just outside the prison. Barbara, her map's my, what map? I didn't get a map. ancient vault ended badly for the thief who planned it. Perhaps we might succeed where they failed. Hmm. Sounds like my best bet right now. <laughs> to get out of here. Oh, who's that? Hmm. Nothing there. Spotted something. Oh, who? Him? Where? Well, where? I don't see anything to interact with. Okay, well that's annoying. I don't know what he spotted. This? The woman looks <clears throat> out on the gently lapping waves. She seems totally at peace, but as you approach, she turns to you with a cheerful smile. Haven't seen you around here before. New? Well, don't worry too much if you have a hard time settling in. Takes a while to get used to the place. You here alone? She gives you a long look. You keep them friends of yours close, eh? Some of us haven't got anyone at all anymore. Not much in this world someone you love can't make better. Mm. Used to be I had a family. A husband and a little boy. We were healers. Source was in our blood. Then they brought us here. I couldn't stop them from taking my boys from me when they did. Reckon they were cured. Maybe even released. Don't know why the Reds didn't take me too. Now I'm just waiting for them to call my name. Waiting and remembering. Her eyes sparkle. Kind of you to ask. Stefan. He was my little one. Smart as a whip and... No less wicked. And my husband, he was called Felix. He was an expert healer. Could fix a broken bone in a short minute. Yeah, this woman needs to talk. She talks for some time about birthdays, about Felix's prickly beard, about the skunk Stefan once dragged home for a pet. Joy radiates from her as she remembers. She places a warm hand on your shoulder. Poor woman. What a gift to think of them. I'd like to give something to you, too. A family recipe. One of Felix's best. He'd be happy to know it went to such a, a warm soul. Take care of yourself. You hear? <laughs> You're a sweet one. Oh, sorry. Simple rhyme.
Oh, I can use the cooking. Do I know anything? Do I know any recipes? Empty bottle and fly ag ag agaric agaric mushroom. you tell me your tale <clears throat> we are unfamiliar yet familiar we are the same material you agree i am very curious so tell me tell me your tale sure start from the beginning start from where you come i see i see now tell me more tell me what you do Tell me, what do you find? I understand. Now tell me how your story ends. I see it in your shoulders. The weight you carry. I hope your wish comes true. Take this rope. It is a gift. It is common. But it helps you lift burdens. <clears throat> it is nothing. Many fragments swell on my shore. See what I gather. His shore. I need to learn teleportation. I remember that coming really in handy in the last game. And I don't think any of these characters know it yet. And then it doesn't look like I have any teleportation scrolls. So that's not good. Hmm. Can I sell him something? He doesn't have hardly any gold on him. Nah, I'll wait. I'll wait. campuses hmm yes belong to someone maybe that guy talked funny looks up at you but doesn't lift his graying head from his paws he heaves a heavy sigh the tip of his tail starts to wag I'm I'm buddy it's it's no use anyway the dog tentatively sniffs the offering then grabs it between its teeth and swallows it you're you're nice Emmy would have Emmy would have loved you. She was my mate for the last seven, carry the two, plus fifty. Five years! The Magisters, they took her. I love you. Say, let me show you something. Wow, he's fast. What? Oh, what is that? Ooh. Mm. The dog focuses at the cat at your feet, <laughs> baring its teeth and growling. Yeah, let's not 
I already fed him anyway. Like you lost a fight with a claw hammer. Reckon you're in need of something to heal yourself up, eh? School of Hard Knocks, University of Life, Academy of This and That. I have the talent for it. And whenever I found someone with skill, I asked them to teach me. Instead of a potion, she hands you an empty bottle and a fat brown mushroom. I knew I saw some talent in you. Go ahead and combine the mushroom with the vial. Once you've mastered the technique, you'll never need help from a crusty old quack like me again. Dane's as stubborn as an old steer. Says he don't believe in alchemy and won't accept a potion from me or anyone else. But Jack and Nip would rather die than drink something that ain't at least 30 proof. Still, my job ain't to judge, but to heal. Or if that fails, to comfort. Seems that's all I can do for old Dean anymore. Business savvy. Don't be profane. This is people's health we are talking about. Mm, true. And I get by just fine in the meantime, thank you kindly. Okay, okay, sorry. Can I not talk to him? <clears throat> out my... Out my face. Or I'll... I'll punch your lights out. He smacks your hand away, refusing the potion. Idiot. You're trying to kill me, ain't you? Git! Git! Those bleeding fools think... think they run the place. But... but I showed them. Shut... shut your trap. Hmm. Let Anyone? Do I have a healing? Rest now, or you'll hide yourself to the grave. Can I heal him? Can any of my characters heal? <sighs> Doesn't look like it. Maybe you can mess with Griff's brutes anyhow. Hmm. Maybe I have not gotten the best companions. I have no healing ability. Is that thing eating corpses? The creature heaves through lips gummed with human gore. It turns to you with great effort, pain apparent in every movement, and madness screams from its wide, bloodshot eyes. You, 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 you. Quite lost. Quite lost, quite lost. Careful, or they'll cross your wires. <laughs> now, a little query. Where grows the yarrow? Hmm? Hmm? Quickly now, for I haven't much time. I have some. The creature gingerly takes the plant into his bloodied hands. He runs his fingertips over the white flowers. His panting breath slows. Darling, dear, dear darling child, hello, Yarrow girl, can it really be you? The creature clenches the plant tightly, his breath quickens, he seems liable to lunge at you at the drop of a pin. You wouldn't understand, a father's pride, a father's love. The creature begins to weep. 
Fast, silent tears spill from his eyes as he clutches the little cluster of flowers to his heart. For you, my ring, <laughs> heart of me, name of Migo. Thank you. Migo's ring, is it good? Grant's restoration. I think I'll take that. Okay, so now I can cast rest. I wonder if I could go back. Okay, is vitality health? I think it's health. I'm going to try and go back to this guy and see if I can heal him. So fancy with your flashy abracadoodle, don't you? Fa, who needs you? Wow, I actually cured him. That's awesome. Fat chance. I'd wrestle death to the ground and make him scream my name for a set of dainty toe in the all of echoes. All you did was save the bastard a good beat down. Hmm. Sure. Ah. Caught a blow too many from those card playing fat heads up on the ramparts. I got myself a golden ticket. I didn't even get the chance to use it. Might you take it? Golden ticket? They offer you a round of cards. This one guarantees you a win. It's called the Sparkler. Whoever's got it gets the ball. Um. Filched it from that hog, Griff himself. Is that the people playing cards up on the upper part because I killed them careful though if you ain't as skilled a fighter as me you'll end up on Dr. Lest's table with the rest of the lilies So how do I know which quests are done and which ones aren't? They all have the same symbols except for the one I'm tracking. Oh, archived are done. Oh. So none of these are, I mean, the Meriwether's done. Hmm. All right, I don't get it. Farewell, my Oh no. No, 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 no. No. I am not going to have them kill the cat. That's not happening. Why the hell did they do that there?
Okay, I guess we have to do this all over again. That is BS. I cannot believe they just killed the cat like that. Oh. The woman looks out. I'll go through this quickly. You here alone? She gives you a. You keep that. Not much in this world. Someone you love can't make better. Used to be I had, and they brought us. Now I'm just waiting. Her eyes. Kind of you to ask. She talks joy. Take care of yourself. Patience, Mal. Patience. Here you are. I, we are unfamiliar, so tell me. Start from the beginning. I see, I see, I understand. I see it. Take this rope. It is nothing. Go feed the dog. The dog focuses at the cat. The dog focuses at the. <sighs> Didn't do that before. The dog focuses. Oh, come at the on. That's how we keep the cat over there. But I guess we'll have the to do that with the cars. Up at you, but doesn't lift his gray. I'm, I'm buddy. The tip of his tail starts. It's, it's no use anyway. The dog tentatively. You're, you're nice. She was my mate for the last. Mm. Hey. The dog focuses <sighs> it. At least I talked to him for a little while. Ooh. Okay, so I'm gonna. Go get the resurrection or restoration scroll, then come back and help this guy. Is that thing eating corpses? The creature heaves through you now. A little query. The creature gin darling, dear. Dear dark the creature you wouldn't have the creature begin for you. So fancy. 
with your flashy abracadoodle, don't you? Fat, who needs you? Fat chance. I'd wrestle death to the ground and make him scream my name for it. I set a dainty toe in the all of Echoes. All you did was save the bastard a good beat down. Ah, a mighty check. Try this again. I'm gonna quick save here. I'm going to separate this guy. Can I? All right. Hopefully the cat won't follow him. So far, so good. Come on. Nanny will be. Hmm. Whoa. Enjoy your stay, Snakey. Go on. I thought we could just use teleportation if I had it to get past that gate. Okay, interesting. Business, long pig. Don't let this moss muncher talk to you like that. Especially a cheap scape like this and Griff already knows she don't like to pay her fair share. An intense looking man steps between the thug and the elf and rolls up his sleeves, revealing well muscled and heavily scarred arms. You recognize him. It's Ifan, who you met aboard the ship on the way here. Just stand aside, won't you, mate? This is no business of yours. Lone wolves decide their own business. The thug freezes in fear for a moment before shuffling back to the protection of his crony. Pay up, elf. No one shorts Griff, especially not one of you. Runs the kitchen. Means he runs me, you, and everyone else in camp. You two ought to be thanking your lucky gods it's us and not the magisters enforcing round here. A fool. Never knows what it's got till it's well and gone. Now come on, Elf. If you make me say it again, there's gonna be trouble. And neither will I. We got a system. And it looks like... Hey, it seems like I'm gonna fight everyone here. Them trouble us. That was really bloody. I wish I could turn that down. I have on this an errand game. to run around here first. I'll catch up with you there later. Remember, past the kitchens, down to the beach, inside the caves there. There is a safe place. Not now.
Wait, where'd she go? Oh. A little reprieve from the din outside. You are in the wrong place, Pinky. Do stop gaping. Anything can be procured inside these walls. That's for you to decide. Hmm. Would be nice to get out of these rags. Okay, that's what I have now. He's the mage, right? So... There, that looks a little better. tells me there are so many children in this great joy. Your kind I handle, but small ones. An elf lives forever. If she stays away from spears and fire, she has no need for slimy, sticky, small ones. Wait! I call a timer! The young girl's eyes are covered, but she turns towards you when you approach. She smiles as though she recognizes you, though... She couldn't have seen your face. Ah, hello. I see you come a long way. I see you come here seeking a great adventure. Do you find it? She laughs and looks around as though taking in the scenery, though her eyes are still covered. Many people to meet, many stones to turn. And there is a great joy here, as though the walls and water themselves were made by many smiling gods. 
Even if we are here under unhappy circumstances, still I feel it. I see it before my eyes. <laughs> it is not so bad. I know which days have bread and which days have none. I know more bread come Sunday. It helps. Your life is not your own. Your life is for us all. <clears throat> I cannot say more. You see someday. Her eyebrows shoot up. There can be a way. Amiro knows. But he is gone. Do you see him? He knows how to leave. But if you find him, maybe you can help him. He is caught by those who hurt him. I wish so much for his return. And he tells you what you seek. Mm -hmm. A way out. You bring me great peace. Thank you, my friend. I miss him very much. I see something that helps. I see a lizard. He is a lizard of many dreams, of far feeling. You do not free Amiro without him. I wonder if that's the one, the red um, prince, or if that's the dreamer that the red prince wants to talk to. Yes, please ask. Oh, I do not cover my eyes. I cover the place they used to be. They are gone now, taken. But I see all the same. He is a very blind man. He sees things, but not truth. Not love or joy. I feel very sorry for him. You understand when you meet him, after you escape. It is safer here. We make no trouble for Griff. He makes no trouble for us. I knew we must be here. I am not sure how much to explain. You are here, and so we are here. My home is far. Your language gives me some trouble. We elves... Time, for us, is now. There is not then and when. Hmm. Thank you for your help with that, thug. Where is the human who goes against their own for an elf? She bows. I hear of no escapes. The only way out is through. Through the Magisters, through their cure. Thugs, I can stand, but oh, I fear the Magisters. In this cave, we trust Sahela. She is young, but she sees. She knows more than we know. In the camp, the brute Griff rules. He who gives the bread has the power. It gives me great pain. I'm with my family. We are making beautiful magic. We are healing a tree cut down with great violence. The Magisters come. My family runs, but I fall. My son looks back. I shout to him to run. I am taken. Mm. Wait, before you go, I am not here without your help. I do not forget this. Yeah. For you, a prize. I save it for a special occasion, but I can think of no finer occasion than this. Thank you. I know they help. Whoever kills the other is the boss. Wait, I call the timer. Hmm. A little better. I'm going with peace. Miss my strength. Ten? Okay, I can wear these. Yeah. A little silly looking, but whatever. Oh, hmm, I can't go past here. Well, but the map says it goes... Path is interrupted. Hmm. Well, I'm not gonna... attack the barricade. Oh wow. Uh, a human. Yeah, whatever. Um 
been about an hour. I think I'm gonna s stop here. This hole is too small for you to squeeze into. What about him? The compact's got its benefits. <laughs> All right. Let's see where what there is here. Wait, let me save. see who's there. Oh, it's... It's the statue? You, son of Tenax! Has King Thorin come to liberate this Isle of Horrors? Brachus always feared him. He always feared dwarfish might. Oh, <laughs> blessed day! It hasn't. The wicked king? He's dead? Strange to think it's been so long since I've been trapped here. So long since I've seen a living soul. A wicked king, it was. Bracchus Rex by name. The Order of the Source Hunters discovered a great horror upon this prison isle, and I was sent to stop it. Yet, my failure was absolute. I am not fit to bear the insignia of the Source Hunters any longer. Please, good sir, you must free me. Prize this spear from my chest, where it has been stuck fast for the last thousand years. Seize the spear. End this degradation. I beg you. Yeah, I'll put him out of his misery. It's the only kind thing to do. Uh, got it. Good, sir. You've set my body free. Free to crumble to dust at last. No. Oh. Last! I remain trapped in this moldering skeleton yet. A spell most terrible. I have heard of such magic, but have never known anyone so foul as to employ it. Brachus Rex. May maggots lace his entrails. After he interred me in this cell, he must have drawn my very soul away from me and stored it elsewhere in the fort. Thus, he has bound me entirely to the mundane realm. But I know this place well. I could lead you to its likely location. In turn, you would find a path straight uh, out of this fort. My freedom for yours. What say you? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Marvelous, my friend. Marvelous. You'll first have to get inside the fort itself. There's a secret switch on a statue of the Seven in the courtyard. Surely you know it. I, well, I know the statue, I think? The switch will open a hatch. <clears throat> and you'll be led into the prison's main floor. I suspect that within Brachus's phylactery room, you will find the container which ensnares my soul. He has likely disguised it well, but search there for another hidden switch. Brachus would have made me a supplicant, a slave to these walls. With your help, I'll die, at last, with dignity. I was fully briefed about this awful place before I came. My goal was to destroy the fiend who had been marshalling the world's most unwholesome weapons and magic into an army he intended to use against the realm. I never thought I would become one of his victims. And yet, here I am. Fort Joy is a dangerous place, my friend. Dangerous indeed. Brachus used this place to build an arsenal of terrible weaponry as yet unseen in our world. Here, he and his researchers crafted punishments and snares contrary to human dignity. Objects that could contain souls. Ones that could purge the very essence of <coughs> sorcerers. My order would never have used such <coughs> barbaric magic against our enemies. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay. There's a statue of... I know there's one down at the shore. Could that be the one he means? <clears throat> okay, we 
we need teleportation. Like, stat. What gives me teleportation? Okay, those kids are really being annoying. I need to get out of here. Then I can deal with these. Okay. How do I learn tele- Do I have to buy a teleportation scroll or something? How do I learn it? What a shame. All you need is a strong constitution. The gods will take care. It's kind of cool. Hmm. 
Dang it. Okay. What's your end, Pipsquok? What are you loitering around here for? Out of the fort? <laughs> to where then? The death swamps or the ocean brimming with void woken? <laughs> Fat chance of getting more than five feet in any direction and keeping your skin right side out. Make it quick. Hell if I know. Don't rightly know if it can be done. If they take the source out of you, what are you? Sure. Hell am I made it as far as the hollow marshes even. They dragged his corpse back the next day. Head pulled clean off by a ghost. I saw it myself. I never seen one myself, but me cousin up in Gore said one appeared from the clear sky one day and ate up every child under the age of 12. I don't know where they come from. But without the divine, there ain't much we can do to stop them. Hmm. Mind your what is his death? Grip, eh? So this I is Fort Joy. The delivery. Surely you'll have one. What a crumbling disaster. Scrab, snake face. Will Fort Joy be back? Hmm? Oh, excuse me. Oh, I'm very tired. Abominably tired. Beg your pardon. Hmm. Stop moving. Psst. Hey, you're a little light in your pack, ain't you, girl? Who could blame you with the garbage they got for sale around here? Why don't you take a gander at the goodies I got? Stuff you won't find anywhere else in camp. Procu Let's just say folks leave here, but they don't seem to take their effects. Maybe. <laughs> Fend for yourself then, sweet. Haven't got shanked through the gills yet. Mm -hmm. yeah. Leave him be. Don't make listen. I can help you if you shut up, elf. This clown you caught him stealing from my kitchen. <clears throat> Still won't say where he stashed my supplies. Sound like someone you'd get off with a slap on the wrist. Caught him red-handed trying to make off with the second crate after he took the first. <laughs> Went down like a rent boy when we grabbed him. Easy. Supplies. A crate of food. A citrus in particular. <laughs> he'll talk or he'll die quiet. All I want is my supplies. <clears throat> Happy to let this clown die in a gutter instead of my kitchen. Bring back my crate, and you got yourself a deal. Take your coin, An elf, caked in mud and blood, looks up at you from the bottom of the cage. He holds his shoulder at a strange angle. Despite his condition, he appears eager for your attention. You... You... Believe what he says? That I am a thief? He perks up and wipes his face with his good hand. Sahela, you speak to her? She is all right then. Good. Huh. She sees my trouble, of course. She already knows. And she knows I help you out of here in exchange. It is all prepared. It is ready. I am too weak to go. But I must care for Sahela. You release me, 
and I show you the way out. I am grateful. Your freedom for mine, a good deal. Griff is a powerful man. Power is mysterious, in case you haven't <clears throat> noticed. I intend no harm. I want only some provisions. A bit of bread, a potato or two. Nothing Griff should be loath to give. I need to escape, and, and I have people to consider. You understand? I see no one. In fact, I only hear the sound of Griff clearing his throat. You know how he does? <clears throat> like so. For some time, I think Griff takes his own supplies. But I see the anger in him that he does not find it. He truly does not find what he seeks. Hmm. Thank you. And hurry. Please. Perhaps if those bleeding dwarfs did me so much. Haven't got shanked through the gills yet. Hmm. Okay, well, it's been a bit over an hour, so I'm gonna leave it here. We've got several quests going on. I think the best bet I have is to find the trap soul of the guy down in the um, forgotten cell. That seems like the least violent way out of here, but I would also like to free this elf, so we'll see what happens next time I play. My cat is sneezing. Alright, until next time.